Watching film is an immersive experience, but it's not only bringing you image and sound, but also bringing the feeling and the emotion. It is very engaging that the visual image always captures my eyes, drawing me into the world behind the screen. Its essence might be flowing images, 24 frames per second, but it's completely a different story from what we see in our daily life. People who created these visual references are called cinematographer, precisely. Director of photography. Today's story begins with a little boy. He was born in 1949. Very passionate about photography, tried to apply for a national film school but got rejected. The reason that said in an interview 50 years later was his photography was considered not filmic enough. However, he got a promise that he would be admitted in second year as long as he could gain some practical experience before that. Afterwards, he decided to pick up his camera and created a photography record of rural life in the countryside. Successfully enrolling and graduating from National Film School, the boy continued his career as a cameraman, shooting documentaries at first, then feature film, and became a legend among the film industry after decades. His name is Roger Dickens, one of the most famous award-winning director of photography in history. No one has a higher achievement in cinematography than Roger Dickens does. Eventually, his work will never be considered as not filmic enough again, and his style of Dickensism is mimicked by thousands of cinematographers. Roger Dickens is so famous and recognized. However, he is not the director while he tries to shoot films. People always learn about famous film directors through watching major films, but sometimes they might not see that film is not only created by the director alone, but also contributed by other crew members whose name is not presented at the key position of a film per credit, such as the cinematographer. Now, Roger Dickens is a legendary cinematographer. Almost every piece of his work is admired by thousands of filmmakers, including. Blade Runner 2049, 1917, Double O Seven Skyfall, Sicario, etc. Before he became a famous cinematographer, Roger Dickens used to be a photographer during his teenage years. Taking photos seemed to be a natural daily routine that stays in his soul. In his photography collection, these works represent his personal view. This is also indicated through an article that interviewed his photography collection named Byways. It may be the purest distillation of Dickens's vision, stark, plaintive, reverent of land and light we ever get. From that perspective, Dickens mentioned about point of view of each person as well as his Dickensism. He believes that every filmmaker has a sensibility that he or she would insert during shooting a film. His individuality as a cinematographer does bring his own perspective into things that he creates. He may also brought his indistinctive kind of relationship with images to his film, and that might be his Dickensism. I don't think I have a style. I've discovered ways of lighting that sort of work for me. You know, like I look at this lighting, it's great, but I wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? I'd do it. A different way, but that's all personal. But that's not really a style. I don't think I have a naturalistic style. I, I, I hope I have a style that suits the the project that I'm on. I mean, I walk on a film set on a new movie, and I think I've, it feels like I've never done it before. Like I'm learning, you know. So I, I don't think I've got a style.、Uh, any any way a film looks is a product of. The prep on that look on that film and how that sort of developed as we've gone along. The success of Skyfall shows how can a cinematographer contribute to the storytelling effect of a movie. An article from Washington Post also discusses the artistic elements that existed in cinematography, and how cinematography has the expression effect for the film. The film raises the example of cinematography in Iron Man. The article mentions that in Iron Man. Cinematographer Matthew Lebatic said he wanted to convey a character who starts out being arrogant, ambivalent, and who winds up being captured. In the film, early scenes sets in the caves of Afghanistan where Stark has been kidnapped. Lebatic used varying temperatures and hues of light to create an atmosphere of conflict. 
This example illustrates the purpose of cinematography serving for storytelling and mood building. This is also the responsibility of a cinematographer. Art of the responsibility of a cinematographer is to define an atmosphere, whatever genre it happens to be. And once you make that choice, stick to it from the first frame to the last, linking its opinion to Roger Dickens. We can find that Roger Dickens' job is to improve the storytelling effects visually through elegant images as well as camera movements. Roger Dickens himself belongs to part of the film production. He contributes himself into a greater form of art, filmmaking. However, filmmaking is something different from other types of arts like painting, writing, and sculpturing. It requires multiple persons of different duties working together. A small project may only need five people to finish, but a feature project may need devotion from hundreds of film crew members. Roger Dickens works with director, which becomes the highest tier among the crew. Below that, there are camera operators, production assistant, gripping personnel, and etc. Teamwork makes the film production successful, which probably be the charm of filmmaking.